In this video, I am going to show you step by step, how to use Framer to design amazing websites. This tool has gotten a lot of buzz over the past few months, and it's for a good reason. It is a no-code website builder that's revolutionizing how we build websites, and big companies like Dribbble and Zapier are already using it to build pages of their websites. I tried it and was able to create modern-looking websites in minutes without hiring a developer. And in this video, I will show you exactly how you can do it too. Let's get started. First up, we need a free Framer account. So, click on the first link which is given in the video description. The link will take you to this page. Here, you can sign up for a free Framer account. So, click on this Start Your Site button. Next, use your email to sign up. Once the sign-up process is complete, you'll be taken to a page like this. This is the Framer website builder where you can design your entire website. On the top, you'll see this untitled option. Here, you can enter the name of your website. For now, I will name it as Demo Site. On the top left, you'll see this Insert option. This is where you can find some pre-made sections. You can use these sections to design your website. We also have different elements in the Elements section. You can use all these elements in your website design. For example, I will go to the Pages option at the top, and then I will simply select one of these layouts for my website. Simply click on this Add Pages option, and the layout will be added to this blank canvas. And now, we can customize it as per our requirements. All these sections are customizable, and you can add more sections in this page as well. When you click on any of these elements, you'll see the editing options on the right side. For example, I want to add something on this image area. So, I will simply click on it, and then from the right side, I can make any changes I want to. For example, I can click on this image option, and then upload my own image from my computer. Framer also provides some stock images that are powered by Unsplash. You can search for any image on this search bar, and then click on it to add it into your website. That's how easy it is. And you can repeat this process to all of the images. Okay, we've changed all the images on this page. Now, it's time to customize the text on this page. To do that, click on any text that you want to change. Then on the right-hand side, scroll down to the text section. Here, you can add your own text, which will then be visible on your store. There are other settings like fonts, colors, and much more. So feel free to play around with these options to find the right combo for your page. We can also change these logos like we changed the images. Okay, now let's scroll down to the FAQ section. To edit this section, you need to select it and then click on this Edit Component option on the right. This will take you to a separate page, where you'll see the questions and answer texts on the right. Just like we changed the texts earlier, you can change it as well. To go back to your main page, click on this Home option. And now, I will simply publish this page by clicking on this Publish button. As soon as you do that, you'll see this domain here, and when you click on it, you'll be able to have a look at your published page. As you can see, the page has some smooth animations and scroll effects, and it is giving a very professional vibe already. Of course, we still have to change all this dummy content, but I hope that you get an idea of how this page actually works. Now, there are some other methods to create a website using Framer. One of them is using generative AI to create your website. So, I will go to the pages on the left, and then click on this plus icon to create a new page. Now, go to the Actions tab and click on the Generate Page option under AI. Here, you need to explain what type of website you're looking for, and then Framer AI will generate it for you. To show you how it works, I'll add a simple prompt asking it to create a modern website for an e-commerce community. I asked it to include vital pages like payment plans, instructors' profiles, and so on, and then clicked on Start. Framer AI will get to work and give you a cool website in seconds. Now, if you don't like the website, you can go to this Regenerate option on the right side, and then again enter your prompt to recreate it. Sometimes it also shows error messages like this. In such cases, you can simply repeat the same process again until it creates a good website for you. So, after a couple of tries, I received this design from Framer. I still don't like this layout, but I think it's sufficient to show you how this actually works. Now, editing on Framer is very easy. You can change the color palette on the right bar and shuffle it till you find the one you like. You can also change the display font to fit your project. 
The AI also allows you to rewrite the copies, and you can edit any text easily. The attributes of any element you click will always appear on the right bar, which is where you can tweak it as desired. The best part about Framer AI is that there are no limitations on how many times you can actually use their AI builder, which means that you can use it as much as possible until you find an attractive design for you. If you are still having trouble, then I recommend you keep tweaking your prompt a little bit. Try to keep your prompt as short as possible. And at the same time, explain your layout as much as you can. Now, I will show you how you can copy a design from Figma and paste it on Framer. To do that, first I will create a new page for my Figma design. If you are a designer that uses Figma for your design, you simply need to install the plugin to your browser from the Framer community. I have a project opened here on Figma, and if I want to import it, all I have to do is click on the element or page I need. Then, I can go to the Figma menu to choose the Framer plugin. Simply search for Framer to Figma plugin, and you'll see this plugin at the top. You only need to click on this copy button, and then it will copy all the layers from the selected frame. I can then go back to Framer, then paste the Figma content with Ctrl plus V on my keyboard, which will be done in seconds. You may notice that the content doesn't fill the canvas, but if you double check on Figma, you can see that the frame size is different here. So, I can click on the canvas on Framer, and increase the size to the one on Figma, which will make the content fit the canvas. You can edit them and add cool effects on them as you'll do on any Framer project, and this works surprisingly better than any other tool. Now, sometimes you'll see that the Figma design is not copied perfectly to Framer. In such cases, you only need to repeat this same process, and you'll get the full design. You can also preview this design using this option on the top right. And if you like it, you can click on this publish button. Now, let's talk about the next method to create websites using Framer. Similar to the third method in this video, where we copied Figma designs, Framer allows you to clone websites from the internet. To do that, you only need to install this Framer extension on your browser. I will leave this extension link in the video description. Next, go to a web page you wish to recreate. For this video, I want to copy this website. Now, we only need to click on the extension and start clicking on the layers and elements to copy them. When you are done, go back to Framer and start a new page. Press Ctrl plus V and it will paste all the web page content here, including the images. And now, you can customize this entire page as per your need. For example, I can use AI to recreate this text. And I can do the same for this paragraph. By the way, I noticed that the text on the hero image was not copied, so I can go back to the website and copy it, then paste it on the frame. You can edit any of the content as before, and Framer allows you to do all these completely for free. You only need to pay when you want to publish your website and host it on their server, which starts as low as $5 per month. These are the four methods you can design your website using Framer. But wait, I have a bonus method for you. This is my personal favorite method. Another method to design on Framer, which I actually prefer, is by using the templates. These are created by professional designers in the Framer community, and you'll always find cool templates with amazing scroll effects, advanced animations, and parallax scrolling. These effects are created with Framer, and you can also create them from scratch if you want, but the templates are there to make your work faster. This library contains both free and paid templates. You can simply filter out the free templates from here. And then you can browse through them until you find something cool. When you click on this little eye icon, you'll be able to preview the templates. And if you like the preview, then you can click on this Use Template button. Here, you need to enter your email, and then click on this Submit Order button. Next, click on this Remix Template button, which will take you to the Framer website editor. And just like we edited the recent pages, you'll be able to customize this page too. Of course, if you have a budget, you can consider spending it on premium templates too. You only need to select the template you want, and then click on this Purchase button. Next, you can make the payment through card or PayPal, and you'll get instant access to this template. All the features that I mentioned in this video can be available in the free plan of Framer which is amazing. The free plan is a great option for hobbyists and students. It allows you to create up to three websites with a Framer.app subdomain and Framer branding. The mini plan is a good option for small businesses and teams. It removes the Framer branding and allows you to use a custom domain. It also includes 1,000 monthly visitors and one CMS collection. The basic plan is a good option for medium-sized businesses and teams. 
it includes 10,000 monthly visitors, 3 CMS collections, and 10-page search limit. The Pro Plan is a good option for large businesses and teams. It includes 200,000 monthly visitors, 10 CMS collections, 300-page search limit, and analytics. If you are looking for discounts on Framer, then make sure to use the links that are given in the video description. These are affiliate links which will provide you the latest offers and discounts of Framer, so make sure to use them while you create your account. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.